What's up guys? Welcome to Android Academy. This is the second part of our uh, calculator video. Uh, we have created the layout of our calculator in the last video. And this is how it works. If you want to see that video first, then there will be a link in the description bar below. So this is the layout we have created in the last part and now in this video we'll work with our java file so as you can see we have set the on click value on button click for all the buttons so go to the java file and type public void on button click whatever value you have in, uh, given for on click uh, you need to make the same value as your method name void is the return type void means nothing so this method is returning nothing it is just doing a jo its job that is uh, getting input when you are uh, clicking on the button and displaying the output so this view is in red so as you can see there is a message if you click enter alt enter then this error will be solved so click alt enter so as you can see android.view.view is imported Now, first we'll need to create two edit text variables that is for two uh, text fields. Edit text uh, for text fields, edit text is used. So, edit text A1. As you can see again for resolving it click alt enter uh, find view by id r dot id dot tf num tf num is the id we have set for our first number text field and do the same thing for tf number two now we need one result text view for label use text view so write text view TV. you can name it anything so text view find view by id r dot id dot label result We have linked our two text fields and one label which which is for answer uh, with the Java variables a1, a2 and tv. Now we'll create three double variables that is num1, num2 and answer because we can't work with edit text and text view. We can't add two edit text or multiply them so we'll need to convert it to num uh, double. So for that num1 a1 dot get text dot to string it will be it will give us a string and for converting string to double there is a method called double dot parse double. So do this for both the numbers. a2 dot get text dot to string 
and double dot parse double. Now we'll check if a uh, user is entering on add button. So if v dot get id is equal to r dot id dot b add, then we'll need to add two numbers. So answer will be equal to num1 plus num2. If v dot get id is equal to r dot id dot b subtract then answer is equal to num1 minus num2 so we we'll repeat it for our multiply and divide operations answer is equal to num1 into num2 and for division v dot get id is equal to r dot id dot b div answer is equal to num1 by num2 so in division operation you can get division by zero error if user has entered num2 as zero you will get an error so we'll handle it now only so if num2 is equal to 0 then we we'll create a flag variable and we'll set it true true means that division by z uh, there is an error so boolean flag false first it is set to false that is no division by 0 error and if it is true then there is a division by zero error so if num2 is equal to zero flag will be set to true and else division operation will be performed so after this we'll need to set our answer to our result variable that is tv so for that write tv dot set text answer uh, you can't enter double value here so for make it a it uh, converting it to string like ans plus double quotes now we haven't initialized answer to zero so do that so we have created our java file and in the previous tutorial we have created our layout in the next part i'll show you how to create android emulator device and will run our application so thank you so much for watching this video make sure you subscribe to my channel and if you like this video give a big thumbs up bye